What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and welcome back to my Let's Build a Lego Family House series. And now this episode we're going to finish up the walls on the ground floor and start work on planning out the rooms for the second floor. Okay so here you see me just adding the stairs at the back and I always find stairs to be the trickiest part of any Lego house or building since it's tricky to get the height and angle of the stairs right especially if you add some railings. But I think for this house the stairs have worked out pretty well and ended up being nice and central as you'll see later on when we finish up the top floor floor plan. So here I'm building up the garage walls with some normal beige bricks and you can see that I decided that they're a bit plain and I'll come on to add some ivy growing on the side and that just helps create a more interesting wall rather than just a plain old beige wall. And again that's another idea for your own Lego houses and creations, just add a bit of plant growth on empty walls if you want to just add a little bit more detail and make them seem a bit more interesting. And here you can see the very colourful interior walls which will soon be covered up by the beige bricks which fit nicely within the two wide walls throughout the whole house. And you can see I've added a back door to the kitchen, which uh, again vary up the walls a little bit more, since I won't be using this brick design as is featured on the front and back of the house for the sides. So you can see me just getting a few more bricks to just finish off the wall, and from then on I can start adding some mini roofs, and overall finishing up the sides of the house. And while this isn't the most interesting part of the build, it certainly adds a lot of progress and makes your house seem a little bit more finished and ever closer to having a complete Lego house. So you can see the walls are pretty plain on this side, but I might go back to that in the future and just add a little bit more detail. But for now, it's time to finish up the walls on the other side of the house. And you can see I've added some more windows and doorways and a door connecting the garage to the main living room. And I'm just building up the sides of a mini toilet room just next to the garage right there. And you can see that in the driveway there's quite a few empty gaps. And I might go back later and add a couple of mini walls and just smooth out the rest of the light grey studs that are showing. So you can see how the mini workbench that I've built fits in very nicely to the overall feel and shape of the build. And it's a shame that I, you won't be able to see the mini workbench so much when the uh, roof is complete. But for now at least you can still see the workbench as it is. That just adds a huge amount of detail to your garage even though it's only just one build. So here you can see I've added the ivy to the side of the garage door and I'll end up adding a couple of flowers to it later on just to make it even more colourful and diverse. And you can see me adding some miniature roofs and this won't be the final roof of the house it's just like a overhang roof and I'll end up modifying these a bit later on to include a couple more features. Okay, so now the miniature roofs are done, it's time to build the second floor of the house. And you can see that I'm arranging the plates to fit nicely so they can all be connected underneath. And you can see I'm not fully pressing down the plates because I'm going to make the roof a removable roof where you can remove each layer of the house to see the layer underneath it with ease. And that will also finish up the top walls pretty nicely by covering up the showing studs. And that's not something I'm going to do through the whole build. I'm going to leave some studs showing, but mostly in my builds I like to cover up as many of the studs as possible while still maintaining the Lego look since it just completes the build a bit more in my opinion. 
Okay, so you can see I'm now starting to attach the plates underneath. And let's make sure that the floor is nice and secure and nice and sturdy for a, another half of a house to be built on it. And you can see I, I'm just pausing in the build to collect some more pieces. And you might have noticed that throughout the build, since that's one of the most time consuming parts of building with Lego. You have to keep on finding the pieces. But eventually I found the pieces and you can see I'm just measuring out the underneath and just clipping it all together to form one massive floor out of all of the smaller plates. And you can see I've left a nice gap and that's where the stairs are. So the stairs can connect freely to the second floor. So I thought a bit about what the rooms could be on the second floor and my ideas so far are for two bedrooms, a master bedroom and a kids bedroom, a bathroom and a study or computer room. I think that that will add a nice bit of diversity and interesting rooms for the top. And I'm planning on having a central corridor to connect all of those rooms together on the top. So as you can see I'm still just trying to fit together all of the smaller plates since although it might not seem like much of an issue to start with you always need to think about every part of your build and even the smallest details such as connecting some plates together or choosing ones that fit more will help you much more later on when you need to actually build on top of that floor for example. So you can see I've almost finished connecting all of the plates and soon it's going to be time to finish off the tops of the walls. And you can see I've used some micro plates so the floor colour would be the same as it is downstairs. Now, I haven't included any, many special floors such as wood floors or carpets in this build since I want to concentrate the attention on the things inside each of the rooms and the wall colours. But that's definitely something you can change in your own builds and your own houses if you want. Okay so you can see I'm starting to just finish off the top of the walls with some very smart looking smooth tiles and this way I can attach the top of the floor to the bottom of the house without it being attached permanently. This makes it very easy to remove the top floor if you want to take a look at the ground floor. Now this is also a very time consuming process and uses up a lot of tile pieces but in the end it's worth it. Ok so here you can see I've started work on the top floor of the house now using that base that we've constructed earlier on I used the same dark grey uh, stripe like on the bottom of the house to go all around the top and just create a sort of base for that house itself. So here you can see I've used a few random coloured bricks and these aren't actually random. You can see that for example the room on the bottom left with the blue bricks that's going to be the master bedroom and that's going to be made out of blue bricks. The room at the back of that with the white bricks is going to be the bathroom and the orange room is going to be the child's bedroom and the green room is going to be the study and I thought these were all very nice matching room colours and of course in the middle of all of that you have the corridor which will be this very nice biscuity colour but of course these rooms will not stay as they are since I need to add the skirting board which is this nice white outline which breaks up the colours and provides a very nice contrast. And the 
again, you can see that all of the walls in this house are mostly too thick, as this will make it easier to make the walls on both sides different colours. And of course make each of the walls a bit more unique and interesting and pleasing to the eye. So as I've almost finished doing the skirting board for the top floor and the floor plan, you can see that there are a lot of doors and you can also see that connecting from the master bedroom at the bottom corner is a door to the bathroom and it will act as a sort of ensuite bathroom. And I think that's just a very cool feature that I've had a great opportunity to include and include it. And again, I won't fill these doors with, with these door frames with actual doors, except for the, maybe the bathroom, since I want this to be a nice open build and open house. Okay, so that's been about it for this episode, and join me next time so we can start more, building more of the top floor of the house. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.